All right, here we are. We're doing a uh, sound demo of the Krumar Stratus. <laughs> It's got two oscillators. Uh, each can be tuned independently. Uh, it's got, you can jump, you can add an octave. You can add a sub octave to each, uh, each oscillator. do either sawtooth or you can do uh, square or you can mix the two waveforms uh, has a sync option to where you can sync the two oscillators together, which means that they both tune. They're both constantly in tune with each other. This is the sound of the envelope filter. I'm going to turn the sync back off because I like that chorusy sound. And this is the sound of the cutoff filter. This is the sound of the envelope. Again, the cutoff. Cut off. This is cut off. And has a resonant filter. Or the resonance. Control the filters with a pedal, which I do have plugged in. So it gives it a little sustain by holding down the pedal. If the release is turned all the way up, sorry, I said sustain earlier, what I meant was release. If I depress the pedal, it actually shortens that to a middle range. What else? Sorry about the bad notes there. Uh, the, it's got three pedal options. The other is sync. So if your two oscillators are out of sync, and I were to, if it were plugged into sync, it would just turn the sync on so, with, so, the, so that they're in tune with each other. And the third one is the VCF, um, which I think might take a different type of pedal. I'm not sure. Because right now it just mutes it. And I bet if it's, if it's a, uh, a volume pedal or something like that, it probably opens the filter over time. So I need to get a different pedal for that. It's got octave modulation. So if I turn 
if I turn the modulator rate up. It's got three LFO routing. Uh, right now it's routing through the VCF, so the filter. And if I turn the delay down, it'll come in right away. You can hear the filter opening and closing. If you turn it to VCA, it'll do that to the volume. And if you turn it to frequency modulation, it bends the note. Additionally, over here, there's a joystick on the left. And if I'm playing, let's say I'm in uh, frequency modulator right now, I can bend the joystick up and it'll bring in the uh, VCF, the, f the, fr um, the frequency, uh, I'm sorry, the filter. So that's the joystick brings that in. And if I bring it down, it'll bring the VCA, which is the volume. Oscillator. Oscillator. Um, I can't speak. Okay. Um, what else? You can have it do a wave shape, a saw wave shape, or square wave shape. This is the square. Sorry, that's frequency modulation. It's hard to tell, but if I do it on VCA. the square wave just pulsing on and off uh, this is what the saw would sound or the uh, triangle wave sounds like um, let's see as far as the modulation goes you can set the depth you can set uh, delay so it doesn't come in right away so it waits till it comes in you can change the slope of how how quickly it comes in to a gradual slope and you can control I noticed uh, the reset function this switch says reset above it has mono or multi and I couldn't figure out what it was doing for the longest time but that um, controls the delay and the slope so if you're playing with the mono on and you play a note you can hear it engage right away if I have these turned down you can hear that fluttering of the VCA now if I have it on multi on mono the modulator will kick in after a certain amount of time however you have the delay set and you can continue playing and it continues to modulate until you release all see I released a note and then it resets it when you release a note on the mono setting now if I let go of this note and start over, it's not modulating. But if you set it on a multi, you'll notice the modulator never kicks in. And that's because I've got a delay, so there's each time I change notes, it's resetting. So it's not actually going to turn on until you hold a note long enough for the delay to kick in. That one was tricky for me to figure out what it what it controlled, but that's what that does. Uh, 
you can do alternate saw and square. You can, I think I mentioned you can mix the saw and square wave sounds. Uh, that also has enable mono or multi, depending on, it's sort of similar to the mono multi reset function. Uh, it also has an oscillator glide, which is similar to Portamento. And what it does is it uh, depends on how you have four settings. D is downward, both bending at the same time. C is one bending downward to meet, meet the pitch of the other oscillator. B bends upward to meet the other oscillator. Just the rate at which it bends. And A, they both bend in pitch together. a mono or multi enable depending on if you want it to enable itself uh, mono so it's only it only does it to that first note if you have it on multi and it'll do it to all the notes and it's got an organ sound you can blend <laughs> So now I have uh, some of the organ. There's four different frequencies the organ can bring in. This is the organ sound by itself. That's the the lowest frequency slider. This is the second lowest. Uh, this is an octave higher. And the highest octave, I just ordered another slider and should be coming in the mail. I need to replace it. And, you know, you can blend the two sounds, the synthesizer and the organ together. You'll notice with the organ in it gives it a fuzzier sound.
I think that's it for today.